All right, fellow action figure fans, Spoon here, and I am going to just take you on a little walkthrough of my youth, my childhood, and show you that not everything actually necessarily was an action figure for me. I used to play outdoors a lot. I grew up as the only child in the 80s with not a lot of uh, technological advances at my disposal, so imagination was key and going outdoors and exploring the world through the eyes of a youngster was also a good way to just enhance that experience. I was the only child growing up in the 80s and this was my third earth. I'd come out here and I would battle battle whatever if I was a bad guy for the day which I, I used to actually like love to dress up and pretend I was Mumra, chant the saying ever living transform blah blah but I'd go through so many rolls of my parents paper towel wrapping myself so that way I could rip through it memories huh and uh, well this area was all sand when I was a kid all this field in front here and uh, to the point where I'm standing and you can just see the sand through the grass all of it was sand so this was third earth Now, all these trees even have grown up in the last 30 years. None of this was out here. Once again, all sand. And the big thing is that, okay, I live off the shores, or I grew up off the shores of Lake Michigan, which is just beyond the tree line out there. So I grew up next to a great lake, and all this is sand because all this was lake shore at one time. And... I, I find tons of rocks just filled uh, with uh, fossilized seashells, all sorts of stuff out here. Been collecting them my whole life, just walking around. And a lot of these trees that you see, the, these dead trees, are actually uncovered from years and years of the sand getting blown away. And it's just changed so much in the years I've lived here. But this has been here ever since I was a kid, this one. And this, on Third Earth, was my nose diver. So I would love to climb in my nose diver. I would climb in right in there, lean forward and just drive it around. All pretend, of course, but there, that still to this day is here, my old nose diver. I never had a nose diver action figure uh, vehicle from LJN, so this had to make do. Over here is another little thing that I uh, I used to love riding on. I pretend it was almost like uh, some sort of robotic dinosaur, and it's kind of been buried since uh, the days when I used to be on it. it I used to mount, uh, straddle on it like it was... Mostly, it, it actually reminded me of an Ankylosaurus or something of those sorts. And that was a big robotic uh, creature I would walk around on with. Uh, and my third Earth expeditions. And I would always have little uh, guns I would put inside here and hide. Just, of course, little, uh, little wooden blasters I'd find that would resemble the guns. And years ago, when I was a kid, uh, we had cows in here. My grandpa raised cows, so they kept they kept the grass back quite nicely. The only tree that was down there was the big one that's dead center. All those other little uh, dogwoods popped up over the years. I'm just taking a stroll down memory lane and uh, maybe uh, all you other guys out there and girls that were big into Thundercats or anything like that, maybe you had your own little third earth so you could play on. It certainly was uh, quite fun for me as a child. One of the funnest things for me uh, was always uh, also coming out here and just building my little forts. And this one's been... Uh, redone a couple of times, but I originally built this in about 89, 90. 
this little teepee here and my kids have made use of it since then. The exterior structure of another one over here. But my big, uh, my big thing was, uh, well, I figured that was in the 80s when I was out playing in the sand dunes uh, as it was third earth. Uh, by the time 90 rolled around, my dad actually built me a, a tree house out here that I would spend my summers practically living in. And my kids loved it up until about two years ago. We deemed it uh, too unsafe at this point. Uh, all my kids used to love coming out here and uh, playing with it as well. But this wasn't Third Earth at this point. This was my other really big glove, Ghostbusters. And when my dad built it, I'm going to brave trying to walk in here. Um, you can see I had my own fire pole cut in it. So I'd slide on down to action just like the Ghostbusters did. Figure, yeah, like I said, this is probably built in around 90 or so. So my love of Ghostbusters was still really strong. And that's why the fire pole was put in. I was born in 83, so I'd been collecting Thundercats and He-Man toys since, since about 86, if not even a little earlier. I have some memories of them, but Ghostbusters came out initially in 86, and I was collecting those by 87. Until Ghostbusters got wiped out in the early 90s by my next love, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Which, still to this day, those are the power four. I always talk of them in my reviews. I got my Ghostbusters, my Thundercats, my He-Man, Masters Universe, and my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, guys, hopefully uh, this inspires you to maybe take some trips down your old uh, memory lanes that you, if you have them available to you yet, or just to see how things have changed to how you used to play back in the day when all us uh, action figure junkies were just growing up and living our adventures. Now it's all memory. It's interesting to see how much this has changed in the time, Ben, even though I, I come out here quite frequently yet. As I said, my kids love it. This is Spoon, just taking a trip down memory lane, visiting Third Earth in the Ghostbusters Firehouse. Catch you on the next one.